Today I'm at Changi Village Hawker Centre. Legend has it that there was once a very tall tree that stood in Changi. It was so significant that it had been marked on maps and used as a landmark. It was believed that Changi has been named after this famous tree. This famous Changi tree was chopped off in 1942 during the World War II. This is to prevent the Japanese from using it as a ranging point. You can take bus number 2 to come to this hawker centre. If you are adventurous, you can also take bus number 2 to go to the Changi Chapel and Museum. When the British forces left Singapore in the 1970s, this area was redeveloped into a market and a hawker centre. Changi Village Hawker Centre is well known for its Nasi Lomak. One of the popular stores is this Missy Corner. Nasi Lomak is a Malay dish consisting of rice cooked in coconut milk and their sweet and spicy sambar. The rice is very flavorful. The chili is of a sweet kind. Just see how much of a samba they give. They are pretty generous with it. The chicken wings uh, is very crispy, though I do find it a little bit dry. This is the Wenki Ipo Ho Fan. On first impression, it looks very pretty. Surprisingly, even with all the sauce, the chicken is very crispy. The sauce is unique. It's very flavorful. I'm very impressed with this dish. I always thought that Changi Village is famous for its Malay dishes or nasi lomak. Now let's walk to the Changi Point. Do you see the bridge? The bridge connects Changi Beach and Changi Village. In the olden days, small children would dive down from the bridge to go for a swim. Do you know that there used to be a Changi cinema in Changi Village? The bus number 2 was used to run between Changi Village and Capitol Building at 60 cents per trip then. Now we are here at Changi Point Coastal Walk. This looks like a super long walkway, especially I'm not wearing the proper footwear for it. My first impression of this view is that it is very beautiful. 